Well, that's true. Yeah, this is good. Southern fried chicken pasta. I normally go for a sandwich because then I can have it on the go, but hopefully we can light some jobs up and actually sit down and eat. On the first floor of South Park Station, Group B is gearing up for the weekend shifts. Quite a few of their staff are South Iceland and then uh, Fletch and Jack, they've come from Gainsborough to, to help out because they're that short. Come to save the day. Yeah. Tonight, due to COVID, PC Mark Solder is one of only four units covering the whole of Lincoln. Where a big job comes in, we're kind of on the floor anyway with officers, but yeah, tonight will be, be a nightmare. Usually 10 police units would cover the town at the weekend. We've got four officers for tonight. For tonight? Sergeant's double crewing with one of them. One of them's got a special with them. Only four units. It's not ideal for a Friday night. Go ahead, Ever. In the force control room, calls are already stacking up. Ben Kirby is on dispatch, assigning them to officers. So, um, yeah, I'm outside the Mr. Chippy, and a guy is beating a woman. Uh, he's kicked her and he's punched her. A uh, female is on the floor. Apparently, there's a male beating a female outside. Oh, lovely. I'm looking now. Yeah, and see, it's just outside Mr. Chippy. Yeah, copied. What's going on, please? Report of a male beating a female outside, both in drink, no weapons. There are other people around, I think, that have split it up, but everyone's still on scene. Yeah, it's copied. Uh, past descriptions, please. Yeah, we'll go. We'll come back to that. NC from 28 Lima. John Show is attending for South Park as well. A male's been seen beating a female up outside on the high street. Since the pandemic, there's been a surge in domestic incidents, which account for 19% of Lincolnshire's crimes. CCTV from Tere Lima. Have we still got this suspect on camera? Yeah, they're just outside Mr Chippy. She sat on the floor. He stood next to us. Tere Lima Station. Yeah, I'm just outside Mr Chippy. Yeah, he's just outside the door. Yeah, he's just outside the door. Hi, mate. Buddy, just come here, mate. All right, buddy. All right. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put these handcuffs on hey, you, mate. Right. I'm, I'm all right with you, lot. Yeah. Hey, just come, in, come stand over here for me. Come on. There's been an allegation, OK, that you've assaulted that female there. So this yeah. moment in time, you're under arrest, OK, on suspicion yeah. of well, I don't, ABH, I don't, I don't right? Want... Don't lie! All right. Tell the truth! So, you're on, yes, you, so do you understand what's happening? You're under arrest on suspicion of ABH, OK? So you do not have to say anything. I've got no issue with you. What's going on? I'm all right. You're OK? My head's sore. Your head's sore. Yeah, all right. I've been drinking. That's alright, that's alright. I can put my hand on you. You can't, mate. You can put your hand down there. I, I won't right? hurt you. Is he partner, is he? He's my new partner. Yeah, I'm in order with this chap. Um, so the other unit are just going to make sure the female is taking a Can I just check your head, see if you've got any blood on you? Is that okay? Right. Yeah. I'm just going to go lightly. If it hurts, tell me when to stop, alright. There's no blood, but you've got a massive egg. So tell me exactly what's happened again. He was wondering, just kicking me and punching me. An, an ambulance is most likely going to come and check you out. Will you get checked out by them, please? No, it's all right. I don't want to go to one side. I don't want to go to one side. Just need to get checked out, though. OK, don't, don't, don't talk to me about what's happened, mate. You're under caution. So yeah. anything you do say, maybe give me evidence, all right? Yeah. You can so save it, OK? I've had a bit of drink, so I'm annoyed because okay. I've had a lot of stress on. OK. I've been three weeks. But that's not We've only been together for three weeks. Have you got my key? Yeah, but there's one on a yellow card that he's saying are his. Who, whose keys are these? Mine. Is there a key on there for...? No, they're mine. They're all mine, not okay. hers. Right, head, head. What's your head? Uh, I'm all right. You mind? Hello, Lincoln Custody. Oh, yeah, you got one route for the high street for ABH. Thank you. OK. It's just usual. It's on Trinity Street. Friday, sort of Saturday night stuff, I think. Go ahead of her. Get your hands off me now! Get your hands 
stuff beside you, Tom. Yeah? yeah? yeah. We'll have to cut it. I don't have to stuff oh, it. Oh, yeah, you want to cut it. Let's get him under control. Take, take his hand back so we're ready to come out. Why are you punching me? In custody, Sergeant Steve Parker has been on shift for nine hours. Uh, we got one coming in. There's a fan coming. Drifters to be him. Hi, buddy. Right, Cheers. Lovely. Here you go, mate. What's your head? Alright, buddy. Yeah, cool. You alright? All right, we, we'll right. just come through here, mate. Mind you, I ain't done nothing, so. You just take a seat in there for, yeah. for now. PCs Mark Solder and John White are bringing in the suspect arrested for assaulting his partner. We're just waiting to get called through, OK? OK. Yeah, I thought she was unconscious at one point, so... That's what CCTV said, mm. doesn't it? What cell do you want him in? B9. B9, please. We're coming through. There you go. Sorry, I, know, I know that's... Hi, mate. Just, just stand Hello, over. Is it Sergeant? Just give me your hands. I'm going to take yeah. these off here, OK? OK. No, no, you've been fine. Trust me, I'm not going to kick off. I'm going to ask the officer some questions, find out why you're here, and then we'll book you in. No, all right, that's fine. OK, okay um, DP's been seen on CCTV, punching a female in the head four times. Four times? I don't remember four times. Yeah. She's then fallen to the floor, and the DP's but then kicked her in well. the face. She's intoxicated as well. I say, just, just listen, mate, and remember, don't forget you're under caution, OK? Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. I know how it um, works. I've been here before, so I'm not stupid. She might have been unconscious, but um, officers are with her now. No, she wasn't. Um, she wasn't unconscious because I saw her. Okay. But she's pissed as well, so she can't talk. Yeah. The thing I need to do is make sure that you're aware of what that officer said and the reason you've been brought here. I know it's that, mate. Okay, I've been so here many, many times before. So you're here on an yeah. allegation of assault? Yeah. OK? I respect officers. If I didn't, you'd know about it, wouldn't you? I just wouldn't, yeah. I'm Keep not this. like some people where they pretend that they're going to be your friend and like trying to kick your head in. No, we don't want that, do we? Who, who's that? That was my ex wife. Oh, okay. Does she know you got it? She's dead. No, 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 no. What's your name, name buddy? Bobby. Buddy. Paddy. 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 Alright. Well, Liam, you're alive, Andy, yeah? Well, I'm not doing, mate. Do you want to drink or anything, mate? Uh, can I have a coffee? Yeah, just sugar. Good to meet you. Yeah. So, call well there if you need anything. Oh, no. Toilet just there. There is a camera in the corner, but it's pixelated, like, so we can't see what you're up to. Alright. This will be the first time I've ever been in this cop station. Like, I've been the old one, but it's nice, you know. Alright, cheers. Alright, mate. I don't know whether I'm too full. I did have a massive meal, but I don't know which one's the best. Jalapeno. I have to be in the mood for jalapenos. Right, let's get sorted then. I've got to read this first. You look like you're about to read a bedtime story. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, it is, it is like looking after fucking kids, isn't it? Let's be right. Once upon a time. It's Friday night, and Group A is taking over on the night shift. I don't know I actually got a car yet. Leading the briefing is Sergeant Dan Cooper. You got a car, mate, have you? Yeah, but apparently it don't work. I, I, really check it. It. I read the briefing, there's nothing really that relevant for us. I've gone for Hotel 15 is Cumber and Ken. 17 is Sophie and Tim. Amazing. We haven't got a van yet. No, we're walking for the first hour. <laughs> You ready for tonight? No, I'm full. <laughs> so there'll be no running then? PC's Tim Bland and Sophie Gibson are heading out to patrol Lincoln City Centre. Fingers. I'm not interested tonight, no. I've had enough. Get up another house call again. Another one of the regular crazies. He's free. Right, I've gotten. Oh, thank you. In the force control room, Matt Brown is on dispatch. I can't see it. What's that? The job. They should have done. We'll just turn up. It's really confusing when they do that to you, because officers can see jobs before they land on our list, and it really, because then they'll talk about a job, and he was like, oh, do you want me to go to 401? I'm looking, I'm like, I haven't got a 401 yet. 
Yes, yes. It's sort of a block of flats. In the communal area. Potentially domestic. A call has come in about two neighbours fighting. During the pandemic, domestic disputes have shot up by 8%. Hotel 1786. Receive, thank you. The call said, oh, sorry, they've all wandered off now. Um, but they've since come back and he says it's sort of escalated to a fight between uh, about three people. Yeah, I can hear him. I can hear him. Why are you shouting through his letterbox? So there you are. Just one one talk know what's to been going him. on. Huh? One know what's been going on. Why are you shouting through his letterbox? What, through my missus' letterbox? Through your missus, is it? We've had a little bit of falling out. I want my iPhone. She's got an iPhone in there. She just kicked me out because there's another lad there. Yeah? Right. And uh, there's a bit of flirting going on and she kicked me out. Is that where you were living at the, before you got kicked out? Yeah, with your yeah, missus? Listen, bro, it doesn't matter where I live. A lot of these coppers don't even have any follow the laws of the Magna Carta. Wait, what? <laughs> so why are you trying to bullshit? I'm not. A sovereign of the land when you are servant of the sovereign. And I'm basically your boss. You're basically you know my I mean? boss. Well, listen, I studied <clears throat> law for two years, bro. You're not going to arrest me for nothing unlawful. Huh? You got nowhere else to go. I don't matter to you, brother. It does actually. Okay, so I've got concerns that you might go back there. Sure, because you're a fucking old clown. Go right, on. I'm arresting you on suspicion of breach of the peace. All right, you don't have to say anything about me. I'm brother. defensive. Do not mention when questioning something which may later on in court. Anything you do say may be given evidence. You're not giving me any information no, no, as to give what's me happened. No, no, no. What am I being detained Common for? Law. Common law, breach, breach of the peace. Of you won't give me a de de decent, right, decent reason as to where you're going to go. Take me to the fucking sergeant now. Keep the voice down. I come to the window. What's your, listen, I want your badge number now. Yeah, will get it, 513. <laughs> Watch your head. All right, don't, you wait till I see the sergeant, right? Yeah, thank you, mind your head. Control 2 on him up. Mate, make custody aware, I've got one coming for breach of the peace, please. Receive. Hello, custody. Yeah, it's all in hand. Cheers, mate. In custody, Sergeant Dan Cooper has just booked in his third suspect of the evening. Hello, I'm going to send a police officer to get that medication for you. I do not want to be here. Would you let a police officer go in your house and get... No, I would like diazepam. No. Or you can do what I fucking ask. They're down here, this is where they start arguing. That's, that's, that's the suspect and then that's the victim. Upstairs, PCs Mark Solder and John White are reviewing footage from an alleged domestic assault earlier in the city centre. Anyway, so look. Yeah. So that's him. That's him running and that's obviously our victim. But there, yeah. that... So there, he's, he's tried to... Looks like he tried to punch her there. So he tries Ooh, to hit her there. Yeah. So he punched her in the back. She's leaving. Mm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's what. Oh. Oh. Another punch. So she falls to the floor. And then. Mm. And then look at this. I mean, that's bad enough there. There's four or five punches. Oh. Like she's out, like, you don't see her move for a little bit, so I think she could well be unconscious there. Looks like she just goes. Yeah. Cause so he doesn't, he doesn't run off, or...? That's no, what he just hangs about. Just... And there's, what, six minutes between yeah. the oh, last go, hit and us arriving? Yeah, that's shocking. PC Mark is finishing his 11 hour shift. We'll get dealt with in the morning, let the alcohol wear off before he gets interviewed. The suspect will be held in the cells overnight and passed to CID tomorrow. Hello, mate. Coffee there for you. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you very much.
Hello, custody. Hi, it's control room. Hello, mate, you've got another one coming in. Alrighty. Korea now, mate. I'm as real as the rising sun, my friend. So, what was the breach of the peace, brother? I'll tell you when we're getting here. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Here you go. You're, going there. You're sitting there for a bit. No. You wouldn't give me the answers that I was after, all right? If you'd have given me those answers, this wouldn't come down to this. PCs Tim and Sophie are bringing in their suspect arrested for breach of the peace. It's not Section 5. Um, which law school did you go to? Two years. And you think that breach of the peace is a Section 5 public order offence? OK. He's taking his cuff off. I think he dislocates his thumb. Don't need your cuffs, bro. Do you want to bring him in? We're going in. Left or right? How long? Right, come here, Sarge. Right, so basically what's happened is, yeah? But Nigel and my missus, these have turned up. I've like, agreed to leave. Yeah, he's uh, reached me for breach of peace. But listen, my missus chucked me out. Yeah, fair enough. I was a bit pissed off. Ultimately, the offence he's been arrested for, I believe, is a breach of the peace, okay? Or to prevent one. Go on, but, bro. I am breached. No peace. You've had your say about what's happened. Come on. Right, I, can I listen to what the cops have got to say? Of course you can. There's an allegation that a fight was taking place. Fight? A fight was taking place. DP has oh. refused to give me an address of where he could go to. Oh. And fearing that he would come back to the address, I've been left with no choice but to lock him up for breach of the peace. Are you real as I thought you are yet? This guy's a, he's an idiot. Just, just calm. I'm calm. You're giving me a migraine, mate. Listen, I'll keep your arms down the back. Now, yeah, all the time. but it's your mouth that I'm worried about. It just keeps it's going and going that. and going. I'll, I'll go missing where? What, in these five locked doors? I think you're a big man, brother, and you're really you're a fucking bald headed yogurt slinging fucking idiot. See, that's, ah! that's why I've got hold of you. You just oh. slipped then, didn't you? It's a good that's job I had hold of you. Well, well, listen, listen. I'll, I'll bring up one more time. I don't think that's the truth, mate. Get me the bed in. Well, well, get me the bed in. 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 Yeah, don't you just love crisps? No, like crisps are amazing. Flame hot ones for lunch. That says a lot about you, your crisp choice. Why? Because they're crap. They're sour, they're sour. <laughs> Did you hear that, Ro? He says, because I like salt and vinegar McCoy's, my personality is sour and spiteful. <laughs> I remember that. When you squeal, squeal in for assistance, Casey. On the first floor in South Park Station, Officer Chloe Barnett is clocking on for a 10-hour shift. So, I'm about to get my taser. I've not fired it. I have red dotted a few people. OK, I think I'm done. Being taser trained, we go to, obviously, jobs where there's weapons involved, and it just allows us to, obviously, have that contingency should it escalate. It's all go today, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Are you still in the area to go and have a word with our caller about the um, vermin people? I've lost all my words. <laughs> oh. In the force control room, Karen Hay Barr is nearing the end of her 11 hour shift. No, not a concern for him. Police emergency. We've got an incident with an ongoing neighbour. Are you in danger right now? He's shouting and bawling at us, yes. It would be a really good idea to go indoors. OK, go in. okay officers are on their way to you. Lima, I'm here to Lima and see. I've got an emergent, if you could assist. Sorry, I missed that. Do you want me to go? Thank you. It's a uh, neighbour... ...outside being violent towards our caller. Yes, of course. What's the postcode, please? So we've got an urgent. Although I don't know the full details. Oh, thank you. Great stuff. Thanks, mate. Sorry to nick it from you. Cheers. It's 
not that one. I'm just going to run him through, but there looks to be a fair bit of previous. OK. He's kicking off outside that address, being aggressive. From 2-8, um, I presume you're still happy for me to attend, are you? Like most officers in Lincoln, PC Chloe is single crewed. <sighs> he isn't outside at the minute. Yeah, I copied. Who is the caller in relation to him? It's the neighbour, but I don't know um, who she is yet. It's the police, mate. <laughs> Chloe is meeting the neighbour who reported the crime. Cool. Right. Hello, puppy. What's happened today, then? Oh, God, it's What's not a good story. Then, I'm just stood here. Just literally out here. Yeah. You know, you know intimidating and what have you, and pulling at all the ornament things that's under a window. I mean, you've racially abused my partner. Yes. What's he said? He said, you fucking bucky bastard. You right. smelly cunt. Who witnessed the racial abuse? All of us. All of it. So I just got you multiple, yeah. a couple of statements from both of you. Well, hopefully now we're going to lock him up anyway. At least he won't be here for tonight anyway. Where is this bloody intel? And he mentioned about his guns. Four of them are. Stand by one. Inspector. We've got 28 Lima deploying to an incident with a neighbour kicking off at an address, but he's got intel which hasn't gone on the system yet uh, in relation to firearms, but it's not on there yet. Oh, hang on. There we go. Possession of a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence. NC 28 Lima. Go ahead. Just a bit of info. We're going to need locking up for racially aggravated section four and criminal damage, so we are going to go over over shortly and do that. Um, I just need to just stand off while I talk to the inspector about it first to make sure he's happy to deploy. Are you taser equipped at all? Yeah. But I will uh, get you some backup. I think we're fairly strapped at the minute. Oh, he's only on till six. Oh, bloody hell. Is there not a more officers coming on at six? So I think we're looking at um, five, ten minutes PC Hamley. Is that long enough for you guys to hang fire? Yeah, lovely. They're just saying he's in an absolute foul mood. He's heavily intoxicated and he's been a handful, that's all. If I come in, if you put me on to 2-5 PC Casey is responding from South Park Station, three miles away. I had straight up to him. We are off to arrest a chap for racially aggravated public order offence, but apparently he's very drunk and very aggressive. Another officer's just five minutes away, so just another pair of hands. Have you got a picture of him? This is what happened out here. He's a little weasel. Oh, God, I know who Fingers. that is. Because, kind of what they've said, he's a right... Yeah, I run a firearms horrible. job for this guy when he was shooting yeah. his air weapon out the window. FCR inspectors reviewed it. Um, he's got knowledge of this mail as well. He is happy for taser units to attend at this stage. Yeah, I'm just near your cars. Am I in the right place? You'll see us now. Right, hello. This chap is not very nice. There was a firearms deployment last week with him. Apparently he has some air weapons there, saying he didn't have his air weapons taken off him. With backup from two other units, Chloe is clear to go after the suspect. 2-8 Lima and 9-2 Lima. It's third floor flat, isn't it, I think? I think so. Yeah, it's third floor flat. On the second floor of South Park Station, Detective Constable Perry Brock is reviewing CCTV footage from the alleged domestic assault last night. Seeing the kick, you can see a head go backwards. The victim refused to go to hospital and won't give a statement. She is lucky that she isn't dead, to be quite honest. Most people who drink die after a single punch through to a, a break in the carotid artery. I don't know how long he's going to get in custody for it. In my view, it won't be long enough. 
but we can only do what we, we can and with the resources that we've got. Look at this guy. All his history uh, in the last um, six, seven years has all been domestic. Can you put it on that screeny thing again for us, Tom? Perfect. See ya. The plan is to show him the CCTV, ask him some questions, and then go through to CPS, where hopefully it'll be a remand. If we can get the victim on board later on, hopefully further on down the line, she may provide a statement. He's got a history of beating females up. He's a type of person who shouldn't be on the streets. Do you want to come out, mate? Stiff? Yeah. Good, good. Straight through, mate. <laughs> Am I right in saying that an argument has sort of happened between the two of you? No comment. Tell me what the argument was about. No comment. Can you tell me what you were wearing last night? Okay, I'll show you the CCTV. What has caused you to sh have so much anger that you could risk killing somebody? Maybe not. Well, you can answer this one, can't you? Well, no, I can't. Why not? Because I don't have I don't have an answer for it. What can't you answer? Maybe someone maybe understand for once. You never know. Give it a go. No comment. It's not. Per it's an imperfect world, as you can see with your own eyes. Like I think we're digressing slightly now. I'm smart enough, if I'm smarter than you. Okay. Oh, there you go. Solicitor's obviously told him to shut up, and every time he, she thought he was going to say something, she was nudging him, and you know, we'll just end everything through to the CPS. The next hour or so, CPS should come up with the decision. Three miles from South Park Station, PC Chloe is preparing to arrest a man accused of racially abusing his neighbour. Is he definitely in? He has warning markers for firearms. It's a me. Come to the door or we'll force entry. Thank you. Well, we need to come in and have a chat with you. Well, what for? Because you're under Can arrest, you mate. Man? You're under arrest. It's aggravated section four and criminal damage, so you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. Anything you do say may be given evidence. Come and stand there for me, please. Yeah, yeah, have a nice roll up, please, before we go. Right, yeah, you can have a fan. Um, NC28, could you let custody know I'll be on route very, very shortly? Music to my ears, thank you. These are what we need. We've got to go now. Alright, alright, we've got everything we need. Right, stop being silly now. Why are you starting to be silly? From 28 Lima, can we have a van, please? Thank you, 23. Do you know where you're going? Get to zero, we'll stop making our way. Please, just let's not be silly. Watch your head. Great stuff. Right, do you want my. With all the police on the estate, a crowd is gathering. Right, excuse me. Don't stop swearing. You've come over here to be annoying, so please don't. Bye. Don't come over here swearing. You'll get locked up for Section 5. If I hear one more swear word, you will come in. I promise you that. How old are you? How old 13, I'm guessing. How old old enough for what? Oh, nice to when you are. Very mature, isn't it? Yeah. I think you'd have to be a bit older. Just get out of the way. This car needs to go as well, so move out the way. This is what I mean about 
kids who haven't been at school, not that these probably go to school, but have so much pent up. Right, move out the way. What? Do I want the smoke from you? You can. I'd love to see you try. You wouldn't know, would you? I don't think you would. Are you all right? Move off the road because this car needs to go. Move out of the way. You need to move, okay? Yeah. Stinks of right. That's it. You're coming in section five. What the fuck is that? And it's all just popping off again. Get off in that! Go <laughs> away! Or you will get locked up. Right, you're under arrest, right, section five, public order. You didn't do have to say anything. It may arm you defensive. You didn't have to mention one question, some fish are later only caught. You didn't need to come over here at all. Nothing was to do with you. We can do what we want. This is our block. Do you understand what I've just told you? What? Yeah, yeah. who's got the weed? You got a bit of weed on you? Yeah, I will do, don't worry. Has it been locked up? Yeah. Great. But I've had the problem with you pigs before. Yeah. You touched my ass last time. I'm sure we really didn't. <laughs> oh dear. Who's got weed on you, man? It's not very clever to come and start messing around, is it, when you're carrying stuff like that, is it? Someone put it there. Someone put it there, yeah, did they? Did they? Okay. Bit of cannabis. Bit. So what are your parents going to say when you, they find out you're in custody? And you've got weed on you? Are they going to care? Are you going to get bollocked or they're going to give a shit? I'll follow you. Yeah. Get on the pavement if we can't get the car out. I should get lots of off-struck police. Me Your call, innit? Do you know? Need one. I know you're pigs in that, but like... MC28 Lima. We've just got a load of feral children that have just come over and one's been locked up for Section 5 for kicking off, so you could let custody know. We've got another one coming in, please. All right. You've also got a feral child um, oh, coming in. Feral child who decided to get involved in business that was none of his. Okay, doke. Public order, I think. Okay. Cheers, bye. In custody, Sergeant Steve Parker is nearing the end of his shift. This guy just waiting because he's been kicking off in the van. I think it was like trying to negotiate him coming out. Yeah, Maria, I am coming down. I'm literally, uh, I don't even know where I am. Three miles from the station, PC Chloe is heading to custody with a man arrested for threatening his neighbour. And he was saying he was having a good day, just sat in his garden minding his own business. And, you know, he's been racially abused. It's awful. What, that? Yeah. What, the cannabis? Yeah. Even if he gets charged, what's going to happen? Nothing. No, no, no. Oh, they arrest him and do it, yeah. Chloe's colleague, PC Casey, is still dealing with the teenager they arrested for disorderly behaviour. Sarge, uh, it's Casey, are you free to speak? OK. Yep. Did you copy about the 13-year-old that had been locked up for Section 5? Yeah, we'll see. Given how busy it is and how short-staffed we are, I'm going to de-arrest him and just take him back to his nan's house and let her bollock him. Yeah, no worries. Cheers, Sarge, thank you. Cheers, mate. Cool. Yeah, I'll go and chat to the man first. Bring him in in cuffs, it makes a point, doesn't it? Yeah. As a child, I would never dare speak to a police officer the way we get spoken to. Like if I'd spoke to an officer like that and my mum had ever found out, or my dad had ever found out that I'd spoken to a police officer like that, I wouldn't be sitting down for a week. I don't like locking up kids if you can help it. Everyone does stupid stuff as a kid and, you know, you don't want it to then impact the rest of their life because otherwise then you're just setting them up for failure. I'm here now. Well, I've arrived. 
Yeah, because I've had to get back with all your meds and actually some horrible little children have just been a pain. Outside custody, Chloe is bringing in her suspect, arrested for threatening his neighbour. Right, there you go. If you go in there, you're out of the way then, aren't you? It's me. Do not! I'll find you, Jane. Talk to the side. Hey, no! I want to talk to the side. Not you, fucking idiot. Do you understand why you're here? On an allegation of racially aggravated sexual assault, could be called yeah, go on. damage. Don't even try to restrain me. Thank you. Right. Thanks for your help, Mike. Thanks for your help, John. I'm gonna wash my hands. Is that all right? Is that allowed nowadays? Well, I don't like touching people without gloves, and then they feel a bit sticky. <laughs> Some houses, unfortunately, you wipe your feet on the way out. <laughs> oh, is that soap? <laughs> Skin conditioner. Nice, isn't it? Posh. Suspect punched her square to the face and he takes a step back and kicks her to the head. There should be enough there to basically remind him Two floors up in CID, DC Perry Brock is investigating a suspect arrested last night for assaulting his partner. He's waiting for a decision from the Crown Prosecution Service about a charge. Next hour or so, CPS should come up with the decision. Right, lovely. Thank you. Bye. We sit and wait. Of course, he's very upright, Andy. How do I move it back? Am I going to eject back? <laughs> That's a bit better. <laughs> In custody, Sergeant Nicky Duke has just clocked on for a night shift. My husband had a friend over and they watched the football. I'm hoping he's doing the ironing tonight. It's not Father's Day till midnight, is it? So... Pointless. flabbergasted. The Crown Prosecution has decided not to remand the man. Might as well throw me badge in the bin because that's all it's worth. Hello mate, sorry to disturb you. Detective Perry is updating the victim. We've gone through to the CPS. Yep, he'll be released um, with conditions. If he makes any contact, I want you to ring 999. You don't deserve to be punched seven times and then kicked in the head while you're laying on the floor. Right, let's go and kick this idiot out. We've been on the phone with CPS. Believe it or not, they won't charge. He hasn't done anything within the last year, so their hands are tied. It's on CCTV? Yeah. Well, they're apparently saying it's the new rules. It doesn't make any sense. Is everyone happy for him to come in? Go around to the other side, please, mate. Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. OK, so what's going to happen today, you're going to be bailed. Right. And the bail conditions are not to have contact in any way, including via a third party or social media. Do you understand that? No, she'll, so fully, she'll fully contact me because she won't listen. If she does try and make you breach them in any way, then give us a call. No, she's going to windle her way round. Are you intending to breach those bail conditions? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, no, you'll just change shit, innit? Yeah. I mean, how can I be reaching the bow when I told you I don't go out at night because I've got MS, I've got arthritis, so I've got a duff come. But enough, oh, I need, I enough swearing. Do you want to get released? Yeah, I do. Well, calm down then. A level of respect. We respect you. Could I ask you to sign if you understand them? No, I'm not being rude, but I swear, just look here. I've got a banging headache. I've, like, I've been here for like 
18 hours it must have been, but they told me he was only going to be here about an hour, do you know what I mean? swearing at me. I ain't swearing at you. Because you're in medical condition, so I get you a lift home. But I didn't eat last time, I was just saying, please, please sing in. Okay. Because I'm in pain. Look after yourself, thank you. Okay, thank you. Is there someone available to give somebody a lift home, please? If you come through here, you wait here. Lincolnshire Police's finest taxi service will come give you a lift. Just take a seat. Jesus Christ. You know, police officer now no has to go and give him a lift. Absolutely horrendous. New CPS guidelines, because he hasn't breached anything within a year, they won't charge him. They won't give us the advice for a charge, we can't remind him. So, again, you've got a vulnerable victim who's been abused probably all her life and still will be, and yet he's just taking the piss out of society, knows how to do it, and is released, and yet gets a lift home from the police. All we're doing is just making a broken system work now and again. We do it because we want to help people, but we can't do that at the moment. But anyway, next time, it may be better. In the UK, only 8% of reported domestic abuse results in a charge.